Good afternoon, everyone. This is Queenie Flam with Queenie's Book Talk and Reviews, and I am your literary ambassador. And today, y'all, I have a huge, huge, huge book mail haul. Mail haul full of books. So are you ready? Let's start with Unapologetic, a poetry collection by Sharnika Nelson. And I just interviewed her last week. It says, Unapologetic is a collection of poetry and pose compiled to share personal ex expressions on the themes of love, life, and society, tackling various issues like race, injustice, and motherhood. This contemporary work of literature, art, captures readers' minds while capturing their souls with honesty and clarity. It's a very short read, 97 pages. And this is unapologetically, unapologetic. I hope y'all can see that. Okay. I guess I put them right there. Then I have Bitch Hunt by Therese Harrison. Can y'all see it? Uh, it says within the legal system, racism against black women still reigns unjustly from within the secluded judges chambers to the courthouse parking lot we are presented with five different incidents where powerful black women attorneys are forced to come face to face with being on the other side of the law connected by one simple yet complex dynamic a system built against them will they be able to survive or will this same system be the cause of their demise. Bitch hunt. Then I have two books by Del Delana McNear, You Taught Me, and Father Then the Eyes Can See. So that's that one. And then this one. Um, it says it's giving an in-depth witness of true grace, mercy, faith, and love in action. It, it captures the attention and maintains its excitement throughout. The book reads like a movie. And at the turn of each page, the words come alive vividly. So I'm very interested. That's a pretty cover. Very interested in reading this one. And this one again is Father Then the Eyes Can See. It's a pretty cover also. Okay, and then I have Michael Young, Is Happiness Worth the Pain? Everybody wants happiness, right? Shanetta Tolls is no different. Shanetta realizes that she was bored and with the help of her girlfriends changed careers. What do you do for boredom in the bedroom? Shanetta is about to find out when two men come into her life from her past and the present. She will learn the experience. She will soon experience the answer to her question. Is happiness worth 
the pain. And that's by Michael Young. That's the first of July books. And then I got a second wave of books. Madeline Dale, Breaking the Traditions. That is a pretty cover also. Um, this is about a college freshman. And she meets and fall in love with the guy named Alex, it looks like. So I'm excited about reading that. Then we have What Goes Around Comes Around by Candace Waller. Pretty cover, pretty cover. Then I have Tripping Prince Charming by E. Wade. Okay, then I have two by the same author, Landis Lane, Daddy's Baby. And Butterfly Arising. And then I have a book by Eva Chippy, When Love Walked the Earth. It's a children's book. And another children's book is by Jean Spalling. The Adventures of Lala, A Miracle at Battles Memorial. Oh, yeah, I can't see it. I'm sorry. And that is the there so and then I received two more books and now this is focus fearless focus and determine on purpose Rita Williams the in books and reading in no time is actually um, 70 pages Fearless, focus, and determine on purpose. Yes. And The Skin Beneath the Sheets. Lovita Grant. And it's like, it's about forgiveness is accompanied by the truth and pain. Why would it be any different for, for Peter Thomas? <laughs> I know a Peter Thomas. The real Peter Thomas off Real Housewives of Atlanta, Cynthia's husband. But I guess now I don't think it's about him though. And it's right at 185. So I'm excited about reading all of these. I got these for the month of July. So that is the end of my mail book haul for July. See you back in August. Have a good one. Talk to you later. Bye.